So I am currently out of town. I'm in the northern part of California. I hope you can hear me. I'm in here getting ready. I just got up, I took a shower, and decided to throw on this burl top, which is kind of like a sweater, which I made recently. And I just decided to pair it with some jeans and some boots. And this is my outfit for the day. I am currently about to go downstairs in the lobby. My husband went down to get coffee and he told me they had a really nice assortment of breakfast items. So I wanna go down there and, and see what I can grab and bring it back up to the room. And what else? Oh, I wanted to share with you the next sewing make that I was working on before I left. So before we got on the road, I spent some time cutting out the fabric for my next sewing make, which is going to be a McCall's jacket. And I purchased some Sherpa fabric, so I cut the main fabric out, and all I need to do now is cut the lining out. And for the lining, I'm just going to use some knit fabric that I purchased from Joann's a while ago. So I grabbed my potatoes. I was so happy that they had potatoes. I love potatoes. So once I leave here and get back home, I will share with you the fabric so you can see what it looks like. And I'll show you where I am in the process of sewing this jacket together. So I ate the potatoes and then I started craving something sweet. So I found a grocery store and I'm going to go in here and see if I can find something. I'm hoping I can find some pineapples. That's what I really want. They even have this one where they have like the whole half of the pineapple cut. That's cool. But I think I'm just going to go with this because it's probably easier to eat. We just made a stop at the outlet mall. We're just looking around. I feel a little hot in what I'm wearing, so if I find a shirt or something that's a little bit lighter, I think I will get it and change, just so I won't be burning up. So we're heading to Gap because they usually have some cute basics. So we're gonna stop there and see if we can find something. Because it's not only me that's kinda hot, but my husband said he's burning up too. So excited to find these bodysuits. They had multiple colors and they were on sale. They were 50% off and the price was $19.99. So I was able to get two for 20. Whew. So 
I just changed and put this white top on and I feel so much better. And I even bought some shoes. Let me show you. I bought Converse, I love Converse. And these are the ones that I got. I love these. So at the moment I'm wearing some boots, but I might put these on just to kind of, you know, make everything coordinate. It is the new day. I just woke up. I still have on my PJs. I am about to get ready because we are about to go ahead and head back home. I had such a good time yesterday. We ended up taking in a women's basketball game and the shopping and going out to eat and we just really enjoyed ourselves. So I just wanted to share with you what I'm planning to wear today, but it will probably change. So I brought this sewing make, I wrote it down. This is Simplicity 8529. This is just the top that I made a while ago, but I just wanted to share with you what I brought. So I was planning to wear this, but I think again, it's gonna be a little bit too hot and we're gonna be in the car riding. So it looks like I'm going to end up throwing on the bodysuit that I bought yesterday. And I think it would be perfect for a car ride. The pants are Simplicity 8655. They're so wrinkled. I just pulled them out of my luggage. I like these and I'm planning to wear this with the bodysuit. So I'll see you guys back at home with my next sewing make. So this is where I left off before I went out of town. I am working on McCall's 8019 and I'm planning to do view B. I cut out all of the pieces for the jacket, but I just need to do the lining. This is the fabric that I'm using, which is a Sherpa that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. And then over here, I am using this knit for the lining. I did notice one little mistake in the pattern as I was cutting out all the pieces. So it says here that you need piece 13. Also for the lining, you need piece 13. But piece 13 is actually the guide for elastic. Piece 12 is what you need for A, B, and C. And so piece 12 is not listed here for jacket B, A, or C. Instead, they have 13 listed. So I think where they have 13 listed, it should actually be number 12. I have the outer jacket done. Here it is. I just need to put in the lining and then I'm also waiting for a zipper to come in the mail. I purchased the zipper from Etsy and I just had to kind of match the color based off what I saw online. So I'm expecting it to be in the mail today and hopefully it matches. I finished sewing the lining and in the pattern directions they have you cut the hems on the sleeve and also on the bottom about I don't know about an inch or so shorter than the actual pattern for the outer garment I really don't know what the length is but they do want you to cut it a little bit shorter so I had to remember to do that and then these pieces here are the extension pieces that will go on this front section here. Oh, it's just a little bit too dark, a little bit too dark. So I might go to Joanne Fabrics and see if I can find another zipper, maybe a little bit lighter and possibly a metal one because this is a little too dark. I think it'll work if I have to, but I'll see if I can find something else before I give it a go. So I pinned the zipper in just to kind of see maybe what it would look like, and it doesn't look too bad, so I may just go ahead and use this zipper after all. So I have actually sewn the zipper in now, and it doesn't look bad at all. You really can hardly tell that it's there, so I'm glad I didn't run out and buy another one. I just need to clip this and there is this extension piece that goes behind here and I will go ahead and add it, but it does look like this may be optional. 
so you may be able to sew this without this I don't have the lining in yet so I need to do the lining add the extension do all the hemming and add the elastic to the sleeve and also around the very bottom the only change that I made to the jacket is I ended up leaving off the knit lining. The lining that I was trying to use, it kept stretching out of place and it wouldn't line up with the Sherpa fabric, so I just decided not to use it at all. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. Now, I did not know that you can do this thing that I'm going to share with you on your iPhone. So I actually have an iPhone 12, so I know it will work on the 12 and later models and maybe earlier models. I'm not sure, but this is what it can do. So I don't have any apps open or anything on the phone. I just picked it up as is. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a note, but you can do it verbally. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. Create a note. What do you want it to say? Pick up the dog. Okay, I created a note. Pick up the dog. And then when you go to your notes app, pick up the dog will be listed at the top. I love that. 